In this video, you're gonna learn how to create Google Maps screen in your Flutter application. Just like delivery applications, you will give source and destination location. Then you will have the route between the source and destination location using polyline. We will also calculate the exact distance between source and destination and show it in the screen in kilometers. And this polyline that you see is completely free. We are not using direction API from Google. As you know that Google's direction API is paid. So in this video, you will see an alternative for for Google Directions API and draw the same polyline in the Google map. And I suggest you to watch the video till the end so you won't face any problem. But still, if you face any problem in this video or any other problem in Flutter in general, you can comment down in this video and I will make another video and solve your problem specifically. So without talking too much, let's get started with the video. But before that, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and like the video so you won't miss such amazing videos in the future. And now let's get started. So here I'm going to type the prompt for ChatGPT now i can copy the entire code and give it to chat gpt and it should generate all the code for us so until it generates the entire code i can copy this package and get the latest from google and also the geolocator i have to get the latest from google because chat gpt is giving us the old version so I can save this and coming back here, it has finished generating. Now we can copy the entire code and paste it right here. And uh, let's see, I think it seems pretty complete. We don't have any error. So let's run this in emulator and see the result. All right, it tells us that permission is denied. That's why the map is loading. Let's see if the chat GPT has guided us for permission anywhere here. So there's no code for permission. Let me give this error for ChatGPT and it will give us the code for permission. And for this, we have to use permission handler to request permission from user. Copy this and go to PubSpeak YAML, paste it and save it. Now we can go back here and also add these two inside the Android manifest, inside the manifest tag. We can add these two permissions and save it. And here also it says that we have to provide our API key. Since we are using the Google map, we have to get our API key and provide it here. And for that, you have to come to console.cloud.google.com. And from here, you create your project, then click on enable API service. Services. Then in here, you can search for any map SDK that you want. In this case, we are looking for map SDK for Android. If you use iOS, you can activate this one. Or if you use web, you can activate the map JavaScript API. And later on, we will use places API also to search for location using search bar. I will show you this, but for now we can use Android SDK and make sure that this one is enabled. After enabling this, you can simply come here in the menu in API services and here credentials. And from here, if you don't have API key here, you can simply create credential. Otherwise, you can click on show and uh, copy this API key and then come here and copy this code from ChatGPT. Paste it inside the application tag. You can either paste it here or after the activity. And instead of this API key, I can simply replace my api key that i have copied now i can save it and close it next the guidance is that we have to add this for ios right now i cannot test for ios so i'm gonna ignore this and now this is the updated code with permission in it so i will copy the entire code and paste it right here we don't have any error now i have to save this and uh, stop the application and run it again all right you can see the app is running and it is asking for permission i will say while using the application now it should load and show us the google map here for some reason it is just loading and let me restart this and see if it is the problem with permission all right, so the problem was with emulator. I just restarted the emulator and now it's fine. We have two text boxes for destination latitude and longitude and we have our current position. Now let's find some latitude and longitude right around the area. So I'm going to click here and uh, right here I'm going to copy the latitude and longitude and make a comment here. Now I can copy this and give it to our device. 
Now, as we explained on press of this button, it should draw a pulley line from our current location to this destination location. Let's see if it does that or not. All right, so this is our current location and this is the destination location. It seems that it does draw the pulley line, but it is straight. It is not using the Google pulley line or Google direction to navigate us properly. So I will tell this problem to ChatGPT and uh, it should fix us. So as expected, it requires us direction API to get the source to destination routing or polyline. So we have to again go to our console.cloud.google and from here we have to search for direction API. This is the API that we have to enable and then once this is enabled we can simply copy our API key as we did before from here. Here we require our API that we have to paste it and I hope this one gives us a proper polyline otherwise we have to figure some other way around so i will copy every code it is finished and i can paste it here and there's some error because we have not installed the http package so i'm gonna just copy this http package and paste it here in pubspeak yaml i can paste for the latest version now once everything is fine we can come down to this polyline and paste our google api key which is the same API key that we have added inside the Android manifest. So I will copy the entire thing from here and paste it right here. So let's see if this gives us proper result or not. So the application just got crashed before it run and I checked the logs and it seems that there is a problem with this asset user image, user marker and destination marker that we don't have actually for anything for this and change this to some other color. Just for tasting later on we can change to our custom icon all right so we have our current user location in the map and if i give some location from map again i can come to location and from here i'm gonna choose a point if i set destination it should take us from the current user location and draw a polyline to the destination there shouldn't be any error so nothing happens there is no error and if i zoom out you can see that we have actually the user destination location we have the marker but there is no polyline so it's not drawing polyline right now because because Direction API requires you to complete your payment profile inside the Google Cloud Console to be able to use this API. So we have to talk to ChatGPT and solve this issue. So ChatGPT says that we do have an alternate option which is OpenStreetMap and for this we don't need an API key as it says but here it says replace your direction API with OSRM API but there's no link to create that. I will copy the entire code into my code and see where is the usage for that. It just passes the current location and destination location. And there's no API here. So I'm going to save this and see if it works without providing any API or not. The app just crashed and uh, I think this is the problem. Again, it uses the user marker here. We did comment this, but ChatGPT didn't know about that change. Again, let's take some location from here. I'm going to simply copy it directly from here to here. And also this one paste it. And if I click on sit direction or set destination it does nothing it doesn't even set the destination in the map i think this one is minus it just didn't copy the minus from here so i'm gonna sit so perfect it just give us the polyline right here from source to destination now one more thing i will add the distance in kilometer on top of this in the bottom so i will tell chat gpt to add the distance the fact that we are able to generate this polyline without google map and without any payment uh, method is really cool but i think the open street map is a separate open source website uh, there might be some small difference because google map is updated uh, in street map probably might not have the latest map and uh, some location might have some problems i don't know but the polyline might not be as perfect as if we use the Google map direction API so we have our code here uh, I'm gonna just come here for this I'm gonna copy this 
just to save it in our clipboard and now i'm gonna copy the code from chat gpt paste it now instead of this i'm gonna paste our code from the clipboard and save it now i will stop and rerun our application okay so we have our box here it says enter destination to calculate the distance so i can copy the destination from here now if i get direction it should calculate the direction also the distance it is 7.20 kilometers from there up to the destination and this is how we can implement the google map with the polyline and the distance between them so in the next video we're gonna do something more like uber something that we will use the places api to search for location let's see what changes we can do but that will be the topic for the next video so if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe and like the video and i will see you in the next video